All right, last time we started, uh, well, I guess we're not really in Mission 8, but we're pretty much in between 7 and 8. It's more or less Mission 8. Anyway, we got the whole party last time is what I'm saying, I guess. So now we can do stuff. So after you've gotten some equipment and stuff from, uh, the place of doom, Konban. Actually, I'm gonna buy a couple more. Oh, let's see. There's no poison. There's not much poison hanging around here. Hmm. I don't really need that. I might be okay on other items. I'll buy one more health drink just in case. Okay, so now we'll move on and do some Mission 8 stuff. Like, drive this tank. Nah, we can go back into the boat. Oh, uh, Ral's here. Oh, hey, Ral, what's up? Stuff. Mmm. Had to do it one more time. Anyway, Pam wanted me to track you down. Have you been keeping up with the new Dean stuff? Wait, new Dean stuff? What? Since Ambrose has been missing for so long, they want to assign an interim Dean until he comes back. What? Are you serious? It's not so bad. They agreed to let it be one of us. Pam needs your vote, like, right now. Eh, tell her I abstain. I've got a lot going on with, uh, well, you know. Yeah, I got it. You making any ground there, by the way? We'll hopefully be back in a bit to tell you. Oh, nice. Won't get in your way, then. I can still take code samples if you need the spare cash, too. Sounds good, thanks. Yep, we can still turn into... Code Samperu! Quickest way to Cypher Island is to hitch a ride from Collision Town. Should check out the port, then. Alright, so that just kind of gives you a hint as to where to go next to advance the story. But, of course, you can explore... You know, you can explore the portals if you want. Currently, there's not much that's different now. I mean, you can get the fish juice and help that guy out, but not a whole lot is different otherwise. I might add more stuff later, but I don't know. I want some cashola, though. It's time to beat these guys up. Come here. It's beating time. Everybody's gonna die. Oh, no. These guys aren't strong at all, so if you need some spare cash, you can just, you know, you can grab three cash from each of them. Some of them have one thief, some of them have three, so... Let's see, although I did want to double check something. So I might have to fade in and out here for a while until I get the roll. I'm basically got a one out of five chance each time I get on the screen that he'll show up. Okay, there he was. Alright, I just need to double check that he's actually... Okay, yeah, he kind of does that from the proper spot now. Alright. You can't really do too much back at the Magic Games Arena, but you can talk to Winston again. Well, well, if it isn't our little traveler from between dimensions. You can chat to him, and he apparently says nothing. Good for me. Ah, come on, monitor capture. Uh, let's see. Um, Winston Convo... Convo... Convocation. Let's get out of this terrible place. Now let's come do some things in the forest for now, actually. You can do a side area here in the forest. I guess the forest is the side area. Anyway. You come from afar, yes? Would you like to trade? You don't do it. Actually, I guess it's not really that far, is it? Yeah, well. Alright, I'm gonna buy an Emperor's Glorious Fire, and I'm gonna buy a Tree Branch. These are the most exciting of items. Oh, and as you see there, the Emperor's Glorious Fire resembles the K. Roman fight, except I just decided to have it do a straight 20 damage to all enemies. I might modify it later so that it does the same thing it did in the K-Roman fight, where it, like, sets everybody on fire, gives them burn status. Because at least then it would be consistent, but... I don't know, I just figured it would be a nifty damage output for something. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna finally do some stuff in this misty forest here. Large rock blocks the path. Man, if only we had, like, a pickaxe or something, we could get right through that thing. 
Uh, you might have seen in my notes I mentioned something about a misty forest exit. I do have to fix this area up for one small logical flaw. Uh, if we come over here though, there's bees. Wasp, wasp. It's wasps. It's also hornets, I guess. I haven't chosen my battle back, it looks like. Also, as you can see, I changed up Carnelia's symbols for her techniques, and I've renamed most of them. Uh, that's because I'm going to have to change her character out of being an Acme class. We just didn't get the animations we needed for that type of setup, so she's going to end up being like a an artist, photographer, singer kind of character instead. Well, she can still beat you up with the frying pan yet. Alright. The hornet is down. Take him down. You get a green shell. It's a green shell, alright. Wanna check it out? Oh, here. It's a green shell. What else you want? Alright, an empty torch. Wait a minute. Looks like combining the tree branch with the Emperor's glorious fire will light the torch, but fire is dangerous, so we can't do it. Yeah, the torch filled with sticks. Oh, we can light it with the Emperor's glorious fire. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Alright, but now we've used up our only Emperor's glorious fire, so we need another one. That's right, I'm making you spend money. Who the flint would let this happen? Oops. That's not a direction I can go. Alright. Oh. Something opened somewhere. My goodness. My goodness! Alright. It's this thing here. This is what opened. You can go inside this dank cave. Where evil things await you. So, Judd, gosh. Oh, ran into one of them. There's shadow bats in here. I guess I haven't chosen the background for this yet. Oh, dead. Gotta be where the shadow cut. It's gonna cut ya. Oh, there's giant rats as well. There's a big ol' rat. I think these are the same. Rats is in mission one. I might have made them slightly different. I can't remember. Probably not, though. Yeah, no, I guess you get six cash. Okay. Oh, there's a pile of uh, amethyst crystal. Too bad you can't really do anything with that. Uh, here's a large rock that's blocking the path. Too bad you can't do anything with that. Yeah, it's kind of a kind of a sharp labyrinth. And there's enemies hiding in the dark. So beware. One HP. Oh god dang it. What is this trails? You can find your way, there's a staircase that sends you over here. Sends you to the hornet's nest. Oh, oh. Eh, here's a pickaxe for you. But now we must navigate our way once a ball. Also, as you might have figured out, if you find some uh, amethyst crystal, you can mine some crystals. And uh, it's a random number from one to three that you can get. And of course, you'll be able to use these for uh, crafting later. I do see a shadow that I missed in that area. Why don't we get? Why don't we take care of that? All right. Grandios.
It's like a Dragon 1 quest. Oh no. Oh, this is the problem, man, yeah, because now you can't get back. There was just no exit to this area in general. God, I guess that's bad. I guess we could just get rid of the box. Uh, it's not even doing its original purpose anyway, so... Uh, here, I'll just dump it over here. Well, that was the thing I had to fix, but... I don't really even think there's a point. It's just probably not even worth having there. The idea was that you could come from another direction, but I've kind of thrown that out, so... All right, now we've mined the things, and we can go to this other cave, which is, uh, great, good. It's, a uh, great teleportation. All right. Here we are. Well, that one's correct. I must have shifted the map or something. It doesn't seem normal that that would happen. Alright, there are ours. Okay, well, here they are. I was gonna say there's another set of enemies hiding in here. <laughs> Hopefully that one wasn't too bad. Ooh, we got some ghostly... Ooh, oh, God, dang it. here. <laughs> you can't prove whether I was or wasn't, Kate. Also, hi, Kate. Need some more Amethyst Crystal if you want. Something up here. I guess I could put something up there. Maybe I'll put, like, another Amethyst Crystal for you to mine. That seems fine. How is the Kate today? God dang it. <laughs> Run into every enemy I put on the board. Oh, he's dead. No, he's not. Because I removed elemental weaknesses from characters now. Now only enemies have them. Because some of the enemy damage tables were pissing me off. I don't want to make them too weak. Okay. Come out of that cave now. Uh, maybe this is the area that'll block off. Maybe that's what I was after. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Oh, 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 here's a box. Oh no, here's a box. So, of course, if you come through this way, you see you get, like, a little prize here. You get a recipe for Reaver Bombs. Mmm, delicious Reaver Bombs. You can actually access the... Well, you can't access the actual pages here, but a Reaver Bomb is an item that does 30 bullet damage. So if you can find a container to store them in, you can do some blasty blasty later on in the game. But now, of course, we've got dastardly things to do, so let's go do them. Or, what am I doing? Alright. Um, I guess I'll do some story tonight, since this is probably going to be a somewhat short episode. Let's do some story, then. Alright, so let's go back to Collision Town here. I added a shop here, finally, so that you can see kind of maybe what might be expected of you shortly. Like, uh, you see there's some adrenaline, or some adrena here being sold. Helps cure sleep. Might want some of those. Let's see, this resists darkness and light. I don't think I'm gonna get those. I've been trying to play without getting the, the buffs and everything so I can determine how hard the game is. Because I might actually want to slightly buff a couple things. I haven't quite decided yet. Okay, oh. You know, I think there's a Freedom Freeman around here. Freedom Freeman? Let's just say he's uh, got the goods. Keep an eye out. He does have the goods. And he's right here. Uh, we found Freedom Freeman. That wasn't hard at all. Wow. So yes, it's a gun store. Oh, here's a katana for some reason. 
Let's get, I guess let's get rid of that. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? One thing that I do want to change about that is I also want to sell the ammo types that you're able to buy now, or the, uh, the thing. The items that you can use to make actual, um, special attacks. So, like, I want to make sure I'm selling... Oh, jeez, where are they, though? This might take a while. Because we're already selling the pattern cartridges, that's fine. Although I'm not sure if we should sell the pattern cartridges. Maybe I should only sell scrap metal and make you make the pattern cartridges with the technique. Eh, let's make that change. Let's sell some scrap metal here. Oh boy! Before I was organizing these at all, where's my... Oh, you know what? I actually know where my scrap metal is. It is down here in crafting. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Alright. Okay, now I want you to also be able to buy, like I said, the things to actually make the special attacks. Um, so let's see. You need... Oh, I know where the stuff is. I think I made it recently. Yeah, you need the chew gel, which is here. And you need lightning in a bottle. Now, I don't remember if my lightning in the bottle... Yeah, I was right by it. Okay, cool. Alright. No price on lightning in a bottle, eh? Hmm. Wouldn't be a fair price for that. Electro rounds are pretty good. Maybe I'll make that worth like 10 or something. Because it's also an item on its own, remember. So I'm trying to balance it around that as well. It does do other things other than just act as a material. Here, you can have your current HP, but triple buff your agility for two turns, basically. So, let's make this guy 10. And... I think that's good. Oh, you know what? I didn't get, uh... Yeah. I also don't know why... Hmm, why is the T1931 there? I don't know why. I guess I'll leave it there. I must have had something in mind. Because that's the gun you already have. You already have the T-1931. Kind of odd. Alright, so let's ditch this crap. Oh, I didn't do the thing on this file, huh? Alright. Oh, hmm. I guess the price doesn't update while I'm still in game. But anyway, uh, let's buy Kalarovich a new gun here. As you can see, there's a difference of... Three attack. Thirty. Let's see. Okay, hold on. Thirty-five for a gun, and the skills are forty. This should be forty-five, shouldn't it? Hmm. I guess this should be a little more expensive. Thirty and forty-five. Respect. Let's see. Well, I don't change that here. I change that. Um, let's see. Okay, so if I have to leave the game for the price to update, let's go do that. Yeah, look how cool we are. Standing on the wall. Alright. Alright. Because uh, I do definitely want to buy more lightning in a bottle. Those are essential. Chew gel, yeah. Alright. Then we'll, let's go ahead and buy Kalarovich's new gun. Uh, I will buy one more scrap metal because I do actually want to test the, the thing. And also, it'll leave us 744 cash hold. So that's just wonderful. Alright. Does he have, uh, hmm, I guess I can give him the puzzle shield. There's not a whole lot of armor in this game. And I haven't figured out a use for the mailbox mail yet, either. Alright. Let's go try to hitch a ride on this boat. Aren't you the reporter from the tower story just a bit ago? Sure am! I don't remember what voice I gave her. Gen Genesis, the best reporter of these parts of Olden Fair. You know the next boat to Cypher Island takes off? 
Whoa, another boat? Are you crazy? They kicked me off the island, Junior, so I don't think they'll be letting any tourists there until this thing is settled. Lame. Darn, thanks anyway. I already told you there's no way you're getting on a boat here. No ships are allowed on Cypher Island while the investigation is taking place. Captain Summers gave us strict orders to make sure all citizens remain safely away from the armed men. I want to steal to the tower. Where are the lady people in the safe railing? An ancient tower, eh? Wonder if those guys are some kind of grave robbers. Heard all kinds of ruins like those are buried around the world. Right, you might have noticed some guy is sneaking away. That is related to this. Better have some mail once you want to fight me, might. Legend Town docks. You can't get a small area in the boat here. You might notice this computer looks like it's uh, slightly standing out there. So you can get to an extra boat area where Unit 1157 here will warn you that some systems are infected with virus programs that will attack you on site. Oh man, you've got Mega Man Battle Network references now. We got a code sample that we can give to Ral for some extra cashola though. Oh no! There's a system infection detected. If you continue the scan, you have to do battle with the system infection. It's a computer glib. I don't think it's that strong. Maybe I'll... Okay, touch gloopy get gloopy. It vastly debuffs you. But yeah, this thing's pretty weak. I guess I could make it a little stronger. Oh wait, he might get a second turn here. Let's see what he's up to. Nah, he's gonna die. Alright. I think he... he doesn't drop anything. Okay. Let's buff that gib gloob gloob de bop. Computer glib. Alright, I don't know, 80 HP or something. Especially with four party members, that thing's just a cakewalk. Four party members kind of makes a lot of things easier. But since you can encounter some of it with fewer party members, I'm hesitant to buff certain things. Like, when we go do more things in Misty Forest in the next section, we'll, like, we'll see some things that could be buffed, but probably shouldn't be. Kinda in our way, man. Hee <laughs> hee, terribly sorry, but I couldn't help myself. Overheard you talking about you on a boat on Cypher Island. Check out all the crazy stuff going on if you can't read your own dialogue. Yeah, who wants to know? Easy, buddy. Anyway, yeah, but what do you know about it? Let's just say I know my way around this town. You know all the sewage all empties right into the water to the north? What? Huh? Like, right to the docks? Hey, you're pretty smart, but uh, you didn't hear it from me. Wait, why would you be telling some random strangers this information? Up to you, man! <laughs> oh. Alright. I still want to put a secret over there. I need to remind myself to do that. I guess that'll be the first thing I do. Why is Shady Street over here? God, it just baffles me. Alright, I'll just leave it there. Um, I can't remember if I threw the switch in the sewers already. In this file. Yeah, it looks like I did. Let's throw it again though so that I screw myself over. That sounds like a good idea. Alright, I'm just gonna cheat through the next segment of the sewers because... I'm running a little low on time and I actually want to do the thing, so... It's just a push block puzzle. There's no... There's no swindleness involved. Oh, actually... Let me come over here, so I can get, uh, an extra Adrena. It's male Hyron. Wow, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome to the Strum of Doom. Oh, you know what? There's a save point in the area I'm going to. I am such a... Just, God dang, I am losing track of everything here. But yes, thank you very much. Alright, I'm not going to bother fighting the Mimic Steve for now. It's also not balanced yet, so I don't want to really bother with it. Okay, so now... Uh, no one's going to say how this is totally a trap or anything? Hmm. At this point, if Solon wants to send someone to fight us, I'm up for it. We have to finish this one way or the other. And I need to use this ammo. And he needs to use his ammo. Glad to be here? Ah, oh, good to hear it. What the? Some kind of lab? That's right, there's lab doings down here. There's also this keypad. Um, so, 
this puzzle, kind of an interesting puzzle, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Some broken glass, something's on the floor near it. Shelves, shelf, shelves. That's the hint that you get for this thing here. Because you get to observe all these stuff and things here. And you get to, uh, yeah, you get to decipher clues. The only other clue here is the, the term descending order. Some weird pulse monitor keeping track of something. You can look at the strange cabinets as well. I'm not going to show how I get the solution on screen. This is one of the puzzles I really want the playtesters to let me know if it's okay or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and solve it right here. All right, and when you solve it, it turns the computer on. But yeah, that's, this is one of the puzzles that I really need the playtesters to see from, like, scratch. Because I don't know how well set up it is. So here you can browse files. Subjects deteriorate tri twice as quickly with the new catalyst. Dosage of C2 recommended at 35 milligrams. Some kinds of experiments or something. Why would you recommend dosages for something like that? See, I like this one, big guy. She asked some good questions. Hmm, just saying. First time watching you live come from the YouTube channel. Ah, okay. I'm glad you're enjoying the stuff then. Yes, yes. Let's see. One lowers some pipes or something. Let's lower it. Oh, I didn't set this up yet, did I? Oh, I did. I did set it up. I just don't have it making noise. Oh, okay. That's that's an easy enough fix then. Okay, so um, you can lower the pipes then by solving that puzzle. Initially, there's like a pipe blocking your path right here, but lowering the pipe lets you access the save point and then you can come up here to wait a minute these things look familiar what's up big guy oh it just this thing looks familiar for some reason yep it's the statues of truth and untruth again i'm gonna go ahead and press the statue of truth you can choose whatever statue you want though so i'm gonna put my hands on the statue of truth Think pushing that table in the water will make it easy to reach the grate? Huh? What? Oh, oh uh, sure. Let's go for it. Okay, you can push the table into the water, and then uh, you can cross through the grate here. Uh, let me save one more time, though. Just because, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, and you come to a new area. More sewers. But there's Treasurino. We'll leave without it because it's got Andrena. And it's got a new item called a Dreamer's Vessel. Dreamer's Vessel will dispel poison, blind, silence, rage, puzzle, sleep, and burn. And then it'll give you the dream element for two turns. The dream element is another one of those weird things that... It has a purpose, but it's not very well explained yet. I haven't flushed out all the details yet, but, you know, that's just what it does for now. So let's continue onward. Oh! And just what do we have here? Snooping on my experiments again? Oh! It's Colleen. Not you again. You were supposed to be a huge bounty prize. Colleen the Earth Rose. Earth Rose? Her group wants to get infinite life by sacrificing souls or something. Crazy cult stuff. My pretties! You have returned to me at long last! Although you seem to be missing a certain tasty, snarky treat. Perhaps your little friend over there will serve as a viable substitute. Huh, me? Uh, no. Not happening. Let's go! All right, this fight is meant to be ridiculous, but let's see how it goes. Uh, okay, I'm gonna let her set up here. I'm gonna set up block to make sure he's got more TP. Okay, I do want to test the parts applied. But she's gonna guard on the first turn, so I mean, it's just, you know, we're not gonna do that much damage anyway. Let's see if this works. I have to change the animation. Okay, use two scrap metal to craft a pattern cartridge, okay. Now, the only thing I should have done was I should have counted the pattern cartridges I had beforehand, but oh well. Let's have a little fun! I don't like her, or any of this. She summons the dark toys. These guys are, uh, they're basically here to piss you off. They're just here to make you angry. And they will. So much so that I'm actually gonna focus on one of them first. Uh, but Locke is ready for a double car, Kalarovich. Um, actually, yeah, no, we can just uh, put some damage on another one, I guess. You'll see quickly why they are going to be annoying. Oh, we got lucky. He actually hit uh, one of the uh, one we were focusing on. Uh, she's going for the crush and make us weak to earth, which will tempt her to use other earth attacks. Now that Carnelia is weak to earth. 
Okay, so one dark toy is down. Yep. Here it comes. It's status ailments. Okay, so they've lowered Blaine's speed and they put Locke to sleep. That's not a terrible turn, honestly. This fight can get pretty ridiculous if you let them, like, do a bunch of stuff, though. Uh, actually, God, Carnelia is gonna be in trouble here. With only 11. Yeah, because she's gonna do this. Have eruption. And as you can see, since Carnelia is weak to Earth, that does quite a bit. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, Car is actually the one person that you don't want to sleep here, so that's worth an adrenaline use. And then uh, I. I think I can finish this off with, with, a, with an Electro Shock. You really just want to get these dark toys out of here as soon as possible. Because they are... Oh god, car is down. Rip. Alright. Okay, that did not take care of it, but we could definitely take care of him on the next turn now that he's debuffed. Okay. So let's see, I am going to get her up. Um, since, let's see, they're not weak to Earth anymore, so she's not going to be tempted to use Apple Eruption. But you see the gooby here is that she's getting one person weak to Earth and slowly whittling the rest of them down. Meanwhile, the Dark Toys are responding to the status ailments that you already have on you. So, like, they actually have the Petrification Beam, and they have the Solar Flare. So if you let your speed get debuffed too much, you're actually going to be in trouble, and you'll be blinded by the, the solar flare, so. Oh, gosh, she's going right back to it. Okay, Blaine, that's not terrible. Blaine's got a little bit more health. Okay, well, that was kind of a waste of their turn, but good. Alright. Okay, so, yeah, this can be tough, and I like it for that. I, I want this fight to be tough for a particular reason. It uh, is worth spoiling, but not right now. Oops, wait, not soul. I'm gonna use glow here. Uh, you're pretty good if you got glow here. Glow is almost a necessity, healing everybody for six. I mean, it undoes one of the avil eruptions, so. Alright, one each, it looks like. Because Blaine's not going to take too much damage, even even when he's weak, so... Ooh, okay, well now, with both status ailments... Okay, but oh, the Dark Toy's dead. Alright, we're pretty good to go from here. So this could be easier because, again, I'm not buying skills that you could have at this point in the game. So I'm thinking of buffing this fight a little bit. Even though it does already take uh, a, a, a few bit of your items here, but... I think it could still do a little more. It's not bad, though. I like it. Ooh, jeez. Alright, good. I got the debuff on her before Blaine uses Void Orb. Because she does have quite a bit of HP. But once she's alone, it's a little harder for her to mess with you. Uh, this might actually be a Carnelia down, depending on... I'm gonna just... Okay, no. Also, was it this fight that I decided that you can get a lot of TP from this fight? And seeing as there's going to be harder fights than this in the future, I'm starting to come up with some ideas for TP-based techniques. Hold on, Tara should heal. Oh, she can't. Um, hmm. I guess maybe I'll see if I can tough it out. Because I don't want one stat just kind of sitting around and doing nothing. Oh god, well, Rip Kalarovich. Actually, maybe Locke now. Okay, I'm a little dog. Glad you finished the RPG Maker vids. You would have totally been lost if you hadn't. Oh man, yeah, that's lucky. We're pretty far in. Um, okay, I am gonna. Wait a minute, she's weakened. Uh, hmm, I wonder if I can. Oh, but I don't have enough for a Void Orb. It's actually kind of bad. Yeah, I'm gonna have her focus on Blaine for a bit. I start recovering here because this 
is not the perkiest looking group right now. She might be done if Void Orb goes before her. Oh, she actually is going to crush someone. Carnelia. Alright. Oh, that's right. I didn't use Void Orb. Here, let's just... Okay, she's done. Alright. Okay, this time you do have to beat her. Remember, the first time you fought her, it was optional, but you do have to beat her this time. I wonder if they'll pay the bounty again. So this dialogue, of course, changes based on whether Locke turned her in last time or if she escaped. A shame you won't actually be collecting. What the? The heck is this guy? I'm afraid I can't let you take this one. She is quite useful to me. Yo, what's the deal? Careful, another fight! A fight? No, dear sir, you are mistaken. After all, this is Blaine Phoenix I'm in the presence of, yes? Are you... Are you MSM? No. Though, you are close to who you seek. Close? Are you working with them? Or Solon? There are things you still do not understand. How interesting. All right, guy. We don't really care about the riddles. You gonna put up or shut up? A bold challenge. Fortunately for you, I have no interest. Coward. You seek many answers, but fail to boast any patience necessary to attain them. How sad. Perhaps you will still make it. It would be a shame for you to fail now. Who are you supposed to be anyway? My name is Altair Blackrend. I would tell you to look it up on your little mobile devices, but it would be a waste of time. Toodles! Hold it! What was that all about? I have no clue. Well, that, guy, that guy definitely knows something. Hang on to your weapons. Yeah, he does. My goodness. The flit. But yes, that'll be it for now. You mean a mysterious character? Named Altair Blackrend. And there's the Colleen fight, so I don't know. I might mess with it a little more, because... Again, it seems like even though she does quite a bit, she's doing more because I'm not best equipped right now. So for people who are actually buying things, she might end up being too easy. And like I said, I do want that fight to be difficult for one particular reason, so yes. But uh, next time, we'll continue Mission 8 and stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone. Boy!